Hello and welcome to Gyan Share. My name is Rishabh and let's talk about the QCY T1C. Does it sound good enough? Is it worth your money? Is it too much of a hassle? Should I just buy the Apple earpods? We're going to answer all of those questions today. So you've got a new phone and your phone doesn't have a headphone jack anymore. Too bad because somehow every phone manufacturer out there thinks it's a good idea to actually remove the headphone jack. But that's all right and now you have to buy bluetooth earphones. Now there are two kinds of wireless earphones. Either there's a neckband design or it's just a wire around your neck and they are usually known as wired wireless earphones. They are wireless but they aren't really wireless, you know. Then there's truly wireless earphones which are basically two separate earphones which goes in your left ear and right ear separately like the Apple AirPods and of course the QC Vite E1C. Now let's start this review with the most important thing you look for when buying earphones, that is the sound quality. And sound quality, I must say, I'm super surprised in these earphones. These earphones cost 2000 rupees and they actually give strict competition to actual wired earphones in this category. Not even wired wireless, they actually give competition to wired earphones, which is crazy. For the technically inclined, the highs on these earphones are very good. They're not Sennheiser level highs, but who is expecting Sennheiser level highs? The mids are where these earphones shine. That's also why the voice quality while on phone calls is really, really good on these earphones. And talking about the lows or the bass of these earphones is also very good. They have surprising amount of bass. There's a lot of thump in the bass, but there's no bang, if you know what I mean. They do have good bass, they're just not Beats by Dre level bass, but they are Audio Technica level bass. Next and probably the best feature hands down in these earphones is the easiness of connection and disconnection. All you have to do once you pair these earphones, all you have to do to connect these earphones is take them out of the case and they're connected, put them in your ear and they're already good to go. And you want to disconnect these earphones, put them back in and that's it. This by far is one of the best features that I've found in these earphones and I would go as far as to say that they are, they are actually as seamless as Apple earphones, which is a big thing to say. Talking about big things is the battery life on these things. I mean it's crazy how can wireless earphones have so much of battery life? Well, to be fair, the earphones in themselves don't have great battery life. They have about two to three hours of battery life, which is very good for truly wireless earphones if you've ever used them. But the case itself gives them about four charges, which means that these earphones can last you about eight to nine hours, which are much, much, much more, actually comparably more to wired wireless earphones. So all you really have to do is charge the case, they'll charge the earphones and they'll keep them charged. Which actually mitigates the worst thing about owning a wireless pair of earphones, which is picking up an earphone just to find out that they're not charged. That's horrible. What is not horrible, however, is the build quality on these. It's plastic, it's not metal, it's not Apple AirPod. Actually, it's not Apple quality anyway, and you would not really expect it because Apple AirPods are really expensive and these are like pennies compared to them. Like any other tech product, these also have its fair share of limitations and one of the biggest limitations that they have is that they ship in a long time. Since they only uh, sell through Gearbest and AliExpress, it usually takes a lot of days to arrive, which isn't really a big deal. But what can be a big deal for a lot of people is that these virtually have no warranty. Because they are being sold through AliExpress and Gearbest, the warranty isn't really a thing that you would expect from them. However, in my experience, Gearbest usually has a very good customer support, which is a good thing, but then, after a few months, if you break them or you drop them, you're not going to get any help from them. Now, there are a few little things that I don't really like about them as well, is that um, you can't really control volume through the earphones itself. You have to take out your phone and control volume through these earphones. Also, that they are in-ear earphones, which means they go into your ear canal. They're not exactly 
ear bud design like apple earpods so they don't really sit outside your canal they don't go inside your canal which can be uncomfortable for some and it has a micro usb and not a usb c but then all that is wishful thinking isn't it also i need to mention one little thing is that just like any other bluetooth earphones these days these do have some common connectivity issues or range issues but to be fair it's easy to solve because it's as easy as just put them into the box wait a second take them out and you're good to go that's how easy it is to solve the connectivity issues which is mind boggling considering that wired wireless earphones are a hassle to disconnect and connect again also some people might try to advertise them as noise cancellation well it's passive noise cancellation which means it blocks your ear it's not active noise cancellation it does not have a active noise cancelling uh, feature in it so ignore that if you listen to it all in all just to sum everything up i believe these are my go to recommendation for anyone who's in the market to buy truly wireless earphones and doesn't mind waiting a few days for them to ship to you thank you for watching the video if you actually liked my review do press the like button down below and you actually want to see more reviews like this you can press the big red subscribe button down below now if you want to buy these earphones i'll put the direct links from gearbest and aliexpress in the description down below and if you actually end up buying it do let me know in the comment section down below thank you for watching i'll see you next time keep sharing keep learning